I knew I was heading into a really busy week this week at the bakery with it being Canadian Thanksgiving and lots of pie orders. So I thought it was a great opportunity to make some overnight oats. We're gonna make three kinds today. We're gonna make chocolate chip cookie dough, banana bread, and a tiramisu. So each of these recipes are going to use the same basic five ingredients to make our overnight oats and then we're going to do some flavor mix-ins. We're going to start with half a cup of rolled oats and then half a cup of your milk of choice. I'm using almond milk here. A tablespoon of chia or flax. It depends on what flavor we're going for. So when we're doing the chocolate chip cookie dough, we are going to use some flax. Kind of adds to that cookie flavor. Then we're going to do a quarter cup of our yogurt of choice and then a tablespoon or so of your sweetener of choice. You can use syrup, you can use honey and if you do like things a little sweeter feel free to add a little more. Then to make it more cookie dough flavored we're adding a half serving of protein powder and then a tablespoon of chocolate chips and a tablespoon of almond butter or cashew butter. We're just going to give it a stir. And then when everything's mixed thoroughly, we're just going to pop a lid on it and throw it in the fridge for minimum two hours, preferably overnight. It gives the oats time to soak up all the moisture from the milk and get nice and soft. So this is our protein chocolate chip cookie dough overnight oats the next morning. And you can totally eat it right out of the jar. Throw it in your bag if you're on the go with a spoon and you're all set. I'm just gonna scoop it out in a bowl and add a couple more chocolate chips just to make it look pretty. And that's our protein cookie dough overnight oats. Dig in guys. Next, we're gonna make a tiramisu layered overnight oats. We're gonna start with the same basic ingredients, although we're gonna save the yogurt for tomorrow when we're layering it. So to get the tiramisu flavor, we're gonna add some cocoa powder, and we're also going to change our half cup of milk to a quarter cup of milk and a quarter cup of espresso. Now, if you don't have an espresso machine, you can totally just add a teaspoon of instant coffee instead. We're gonna add everything in our container. And lastly, our sweetener, and we're just gonna give it a stir. And then we're gonna put our lid on and store it in the fridge overnight. And then tomorrow, we're gonna come back and we're gonna layer our tiramisu. All right, so our oats have sat overnight. It's the next morning, we're going to layer them. So you're gonna grab your yogurt and your oats and a little bit of cocoa powder and grab a cute glass and we're going to add half of our chocolate oat mixture to our glass followed by half of our yogurt and then we're gonna go the rest of the oats and the rest of our yogurt. Now I'm just using regular unsweetened yogurt. Now if you want this to be a little sweeter then you can add a little bit of maple syrup or sweetener of choice to your yogurt and maybe a little splash of vanilla and stir it in there before you start layering. But I personally like how the tang of the natural yogurt plays off the sweetness of the oats. So we stuck with a quarter cup of yogurt just to keep our recipes consistent, but if you'd like to have more distinct layers in your tiramisu then you may want to go with a half a cup of yogurt just a little bit more because as you can see the oats are kind of peeking through but we're going to keep going and layering now the rest of our chocolate oats And once you finish your last yogurt layer, we're gonna finish it off with that classic tiramisu cocoa powder topping. So you're just gonna grab a little sieve and some cocoa powder, and you're gonna tap the sieve and it's gonna snow cocoa powder all over the top of your oats. You can go as little or as much as you like. 
looks beautiful. Tiramisu Overnight Oats. Our next recipe is banana bread overnight oats. And we're gonna add lots of banana flavor and then we're gonna add some crunchy walnuts in there as well. So you're gonna grab your banana and we're going to split it in half and half of it we're going to chop into coins and half of it we're going to mash and add into the overnight oats portion itself. And that's gonna give us our banana bread flavor along with some cinnamon, some vanilla, some walnuts, and then we're going to swap the chia for flax again, just like we did for the cookie dough version to give it more of a baked good feel. Now that we've got our banana prepped, we're gonna grab our jar, our container, and we're gonna start building our overnight oats. We're gonna put in our banana, followed by all the rest of our ingredients. So at this point, you can decide if you want to save the walnuts and the rest of the banana just to go on top the next day. But I'm gonna add a little bit in and mix it in just for added texture. And then we're gonna save a tiny bit of walnuts and some banana slices in the fridge with our overnight oats that we're gonna to top it with tomorrow. So we've got our overnight oats and our toppings, and I'm gonna scoop it out into a bowl and then we'll add our toppings to it. Now it's time for our toppings. We've got our reserved walnuts and our banana slices. They're starting to get a little bit dark because I cut them yesterday, but they're still good. We'll put them on top of our bowl. This banana bread overnight oats is so packed with banana flavor. Hope you enjoy. The big question is, which one are you gonna try first?